Good morning to all my awesome friends and family. Still getting over being sick, but I think we can manage to get a video put up today. Fairy Garden Thursday. You know, Grandma really is trying hard to make sure she gets Fairy Garden Thursday done every Thursday. Did want to mention one thing though. I have a shoebox full of miniature Christmas decorations. And it's like you can see, there's quite a few things in here. This might be a free post guide, can you believe it? We'll probably use some things I already owned and had, but I think we're going to use some things that I already had from Christmas past. These are just beautiful pieces, are they not? I really love them. And we have some back in here. And this little tree, I don't know if it's going to work. We're going to flick it on and see if it lights up. Ta-da! My light, my tree still lights up. My tree's about three or two or three years old. So I was a little surprised it still lights up. And I'll turn the head overhead light on. Off you can see how pretty it looks. Well, here's just some of the items I pulled out of the box. I don't know if we're going to use everything that was in this box. We still need to pull some presents out and a few more Christmas decor items. Oh, let's see. And there's another little Christmas tree. And then, of course, I have my little snowman and I have my little polar bears. Those polar bears, I bet are like seven or eight years old. I think if you go back and look at my Christmas decoration, fairy gardens, probably eight years ago, I think they're in there on my Christmas one. These are the little horse and the little bike. I think they're from last year or the year before that. And I think the little Christmas cake is a couple years old. And so is the basket. Not quite sure when I bought the other pieces. And maybe the presents are maybe six, eight years old also. So we have a little of everything. Let's see what I can put with what I already owned and have for a lot of years, because most of this stuff in this box has been, I've had for a long time. And we'll put it with some of the things I bought this year, but I've already used it in a post. So this is gonna be a free fairy garden Thursday post. Well, let Grandma get busy and see what she can put together for Christmas time. The hashtag for this is going to be Fairy Garden Thursday hashtag. And the second hashtag is going to be, now you do not have to do Christmas uh, Wonderland, but that's what Grandma's going to do. Christmas Wonderland. And I think it's going to look wonderful and we were going to do this outside, but the weather is still terrible here. And I don't know when we're going to get any fairy gardens out in the garden put together. The weather is just terrible. Super cold, super windy, everything will be blowing around and making my pieces look terrible. And of course, I, my voice is not good anyway, and it would even be worse. So, let's get busy. Well, here it is, Christmas morning, and look who came in. Our little gnome, he flew in early, early this morning to make sure he had everything set up for his sweet little friends, Mia Rose and Jackson, for they would have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Didn't it turn out really cute? They decorated the little forest for the little fairies. They have a cute little Christmas cake and a nice Christmas basket full of treats and of course back here a beautiful rocking horse for Jackson and a wonderful tricycle for Mia Rose under the trees in the forest and lots of other presents sprinkled about the forest and a drum for each one of the children to go and have so much fun 
and you'll hear the drum beats all the way through the forest. And the beautiful icicles lit up also. And of course, all the friends of the forest also. The bears and the snowman. Aren't they beautiful? This was my winter wonderland for this week. And everything here I've already had. Well, let's turn the light out and see what it looks like. I do think three more I do need. One on each side. Of course, I would space them out a little wider apart because um, I have things too crowded. But this is just an experiment to see how things are working. I'm actually shocked these trees are still lighting up because I know they're not new. And I have a couple more trees back in there to light up that dark corner. That's why I really need a couple of more big ones. If I had some big ones about a size about these, had them back in there, it would be fabulous. But, you know, we can only do so much and we have to keep our budget low. And like I said, free post. And I did two fairy gardens out of that box. So it's possible. Just keep looking and you'd be surprised what you can find. If you go look in the Christmas ornament area, you'll find lots of things you can use for a miniature garden. Well, bye-bye for now. Hugs and kisses. Let me know what you thought of Christmas morning with the fairies. Didn't they turn out cute? I turned the overhead light back on so you could see how really cute everything looked. I thought everything looked wonderful. What did you think? And next year, we will even have it look better. Everything here is going back in this Christmas box. And I'm going to put the little Nicole and, not Nicole, what am I saying? Little Mia Rose and little Jackson back in this box. Because they are just perfectly sized for these miniatures. The little basket full of treats, the little Christmas cake, and of course, the little bike and the little rocking horse. Just perfect together. And of course, I want to keep make sure I have my bears and my snowman together too. They work together so well. I, of course, also want to put my beautiful, beautiful icicles since uh, snowflakes back in there too. I thought they were beautiful and I was really lucky. I'm pretty sure I bought these at Dollar Tree last year or the year before and I think they were in the Christmas ornament section and I bought three of them and that's just the perfect amount for this display. I don't know if I would buy any more. I just love them just the way they are. And of course, those beautiful black and white trees are also from Dollar Tree. So don't ever think you can't find some cute things. And all the presents were probably from Dollar Tree also, but they're probably like seven or eight years old. And of course, all the pine cones and seeds I already had. So see you, my dear friends. Bye-bye for now.